Hi everyone, Nine here with another quick video post to talk about this week's Let's Shop economy post. So some of the some of the points on this uh, this week's Moon Day post have been kind of controversial, and uh, there's been some discussion going on. I think uh, some specific points, specifically the blink scroll and some some kind of smaller details. Um, are still are still you know dividing the community as it it looks like, but I I just wanted to have a look at the the proposed secret shop model um, mathematically a bit bit more into it, and kind of just have a quick overall look at how the numbers um, of the leveling up and the economy progression look on a very abstract uh, basis. So. Some of the new things that the new secret shop provides are rerolls and upgrading. Interestingly, you can also choose not to do anything or as Valve calls it, invest. And invest will provide you with additional gold during the shop phase provided that you don't do anything in the way of rerolling, upgrading or buying items. What is also interesting is that now the shop has tiers, so you can progress from the initial tier 1, which is 10 gold items, onto 15, 20, 25 and 30 gold items. So you can upgrade the shop four times, um, as it seems. Take the stuff that I'm taking here with a bit of a grain of salt, because I think a lot of the description is not completely, completely clear on some smaller details, but this will be my overall Again, very abstract and subjective interpretation of what they've shown us here. And what I wanted to do is basically look at how the gold progresses if you're going to choose to invest basically automatically um, and just have a look at how the curves for each uh, potential investment model look like. And I think one of the reasons why this is relevant is because the way that Valve has designed this new shop, they say that the gold get it, that you get by investing will increase by one gold every time you upgrade the shop. So this creates um, variation in the progression of gold economy. And also, finally, you can upgrade the shop for five gold, as shown on the picture. However, this upgrade cost goes down to three and then to one in subsequent turns and resets to five when you upgrade. So if you choose to buy something or do something else or do nothing, um, you will uh, kind of reduce the cost of upgrading in future turns down to, down to one. And so because of this, I thought it would be interesting to look at uh, game progression. Now this, uh, again, you could do more complicated models here and uh, it really looks, it really, really depends what your, what your goal is and what you want to look at. I, I made an initial, uh, opened up an Excel sheet quite boring, I know. And I um, basically just threw some numbers in there to see how fast I could get to the money or amount required to buy a horn of the alpha from the shop. So this is now obviously assuming, and this is not confirmed by Valve, but let's assume that horn of the alpha now costs 30 gold because it was the, like the, 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 the most impactful late game item in 1.1. Let's assume that horn now costs 30 and that you need to, to reach tier five to, to purchase that item. So what that amounts to basically is that you're going to need 20 gold for upgrading if you're going to upgrade four times without getting the discounts. And, um, and then you're going to need 30 gold once you're in the latest in the last tier to, to purchase that horn. So just very generally, you're going to need about 50 gold to get there. Um, I, I have adjusted my maths basically to calculate at which turn, depending on each model, you can reach that, uh, that horn, assuming that once you reach the required tier, horn would be the first item to, to show up. And as you'll see, basically the progression um, varies quite a lot during the first few rounds of the game. But, uh, but the time at, at which each separate model reaches uh, or gets the opportunity to buy horn is actually very similar. Um, I made I made obviously a model where you always just invest and you only upgrade everything together at the end. Bear in mind that the first upgrade for that model will always cost one gold because you haven't upgraded before. And then I've made also a model for 
making upgrades every time you've got five gold available to you. So that would be the basically the all, always immediate upgrade model. And then the, I made the model for upgrading every time the upgrade costs three and upgrading every time the, up, the upgrade costs one. So those are the four, four models that you will see here. I'm also assuming that you are not buying any items and every time that you get the option to invest that you will do so when you are not upgrading because you cannot do both. So those are the, the rules um, set for this example. And um, I've made two graphs, one looking at basically the first nine to 10 rounds of the game, which is basically around the time that you would theoretically reach the, the gold required to buy a horn. And the second progression, I just show how the, grind, the, the, how the graphs progress over a, a longer time. So let's have a look at uh, how the graph progresses over the first few turns. Obviously, the model where you don't upgrade anything is just a linear line, okay? And you're gonna reach the the, the turn to buy horn at round nine. The the subsequent models obviously are deviations of that initial one. Um, the the model where you only upgrade uh, when the, when the upgrades are really cheap or one gold uh, is represented by the red line here. And you will see that the progression doesn't deviate that much. And in fact, that is the model where you are able to theoretically, according to the ground rules that I laid down, you will be able to purchase the horn on round eight. The other two models do in fact deviate quite a bit uh, from each other between round three and round eight but converge, end up converging at around round nine. And in fact, both of them will reach horn gold in round nine, as does a linear model. So uh, according to these models that I've done, the fastest way to reach a horn, if you will, would be the one gold upgrade uh, model. Once again, this is assuming that you're not buying any items at all, that you're not getting any uh, hero kills. Okay, I'm just counting or actually I forgot to say, I'm also assuming that three creeps die every turn, so you're getting three passive gold. And that might not be the case. Okay, so there will be bigger deviations uh, in, a, in a real game of Artifact, um, obviously. Either way, depending how aggressive and kill-oriented your deck is or not. If you look at the longer uh, over time curves, though, what you will see is that the one gold upgrade line and the... So basically, like I said, the, f the five gold and the three gold, they will converge at around round eight. And then they will just press together as a unified line. And if you, if you notice the one gold upgrade also later on around round 12, uh, once it reaches the last tier in the shop, it will also start progressing the same. This is obviously because I am assuming that you always invest. And once you reach the last tier, then yeah, it is it is what it is. And the linear line obviously remains linear because we're kind of uh, theoretically assuming no, no upgrades there. Uh, even though I could have added, actually, once you, you reach the horn gold, I could have added... Uh, the progression, the, the, the adequate upgrade. So you could take that as an error, but yeah, basically I just wanted to show you guys how the curve will progress. Um, and yeah, to me, basically what this means is that this these choices will end up being more relevant, obviously, until or before tier five in the shop. And, uh, and the biggest diversions in the curves seem to happen in the first rounds of the game. So until probably between round three to round nine, probably, I would say. Obviously, as you buy items and get kills and so on, these, these variations will become huger and probably more stretched out in time, I would assume. But it's hard to actually know exactly our make models and uh, i mean i don't want to really waste the time trying to to predict that although it would be interesting for someone to make like a tts game and then show how the gold would progress in a like a theoretical game of, uh, of tts but uh i'll leave that for someone else to do so basically i think that's it um interesting i think it's an interesting it's food for thought let's put it like that if um if you've got any comments uh let me know and um, yeah, otherwise, 
let's hope that the next uh, moon days bring us more information regarding the shop and uh, hopefully uh, in my personal opinion some some adjustments um, in in uh, in somewhat different directions I hope but let's see and let's keep the discussion going so that uh, Valve can uh, get a feeling for what we as a community want to do all right so peace and uh, keep long hauling guys <laughs>